What's going on, y'all? It's your man, June Archer here, the Winner Circle on ThisIs50.com. My guy today, Sock Passe. Sock Passe. Goes by the name of Daniel Gene. You know him, you love him. He is the social media genius. You might have seen him on a train with a stripper. Might have seen him with a baby shower. Maybe handing out teddy bears and roses. Setting some people up on a date. Well, guess what? We have him in the hot seat today. Please welcome to the show, Daniel Gene. Daniel, what's going on? Yeah, what's good with Once you, again, man? Sac Passe! Sac Fet, man. What's going on, brother? I'm good. Thanks for having me, man. man. I appreciate you. I appreciate Jeremy. I appreciate 50. I appreciate this is 50. I'm happy. I'm hyped. Thank you, guys. Man, this is dope, man. We were talking offset about 50 and him being a really long time supporter of what you've been doing. I want to talk to you about the early days, man. You just hit me. It was a business that you had, that you were yeah. setting people up on dates. How did you even get into doing that? Well, what happened was I was at work one day and my coworkers, I still do construction, my coworkers were talking and they was like, yo, you drive all day and then you come to work. I'm like, oh, I don't like driving people, but what I do like, and the idea came up in my head. I'm like, I could get any of you guys laid. And they're like, what do you mean you could get us laid? I'm like, bro, I could get you flowers, cards, teddy bears, set up mad things, and the chick is gonna, you definitely gonna get some action. And my first client was Jack Thriller because all my friends told me no. Right. So I told Jack, Jack supported it, Jack was getting laid, Jack got laid like three straight dates, and I was like, yo, bro, I can't afford this every week. So Jack was like, come to my show. So I went on the show, and then it went from there, then I met this kid named Fat Boy, mm -hmm. and the rest is history. And then, you know, he said, Danny, we're going to blow up. And I didn't understand what he was talking about. I was like, whatever way I can help you get to where you need to get to, right. as a team player, I have to drive for you, if we got to do these crazy videos, whatever. I'm down. Let's get you to the top. So that was my focus with Fat Boy, like trying to get him to the top. Did you know the influence that social media had when you started? Because it seemed like you were just really doing it for fun. You were really trying to help out Jack. Like, shout out to Jack. Shout out to Jack. So, um, did you know how big this was going to be? Because you, you put up crazy numbers. Like, people look forward to what it is that you're going to do because they know it's going to be crazier than the last time. Yeah. Um, did I know it was going to be like that? No. I just was trying to promote my business. That was the whole point with me and Fat Boy. Was like, I didn't even want to be the main guy in the videos. I just wanted to be behind the scenes. Right. And Jack's like, no, people got to see who's doing these products, whatever, so you need to get in there. I'm like, this kid is crazy. I don't want to do these videos with him. He wants me to... Um, I used to wear my suit, as usual. I right. still wear it my, with the tie. He's like, I want you to be a federal agent and let's kick down the trap house. Let's go to the trap house and kick the door down. I'm like, I'm not doing that, bro. You wildin'. <laughs> and um, Jack was like, he's nuts, but there's certain videos you can't do, whatever. And then um, with the videos now, we're getting reposted by like Snoop, Worldstar. But I never understood how big these videos were going. Right. Like they were all over the place. But I was like, yeah, whatever with the social media. Because I used to, you know, I'm old school. So I'm thinking if you're famous on Poppins because you're on TV, I ain't know the phone had that much influence. Right. So people, you know, be like, let's take a picture. And I'm looking at them like, uh, why? And then my fat boy and Jack was like, oh, because people know you and they like your videos. And I'm like, oh, so he had to explain it to me because I was so lost was oblivious and confused. To it. Yeah, yeah, I'm like. You were doing it organically, having organically, fun. Organically. Yeah, you can say having fun with fat boy, like having fun, trying right. to help him get to where he needs to get to. So I want to ask you, has there been a, a celebrity that you haven't had the opportunity to work with that you would love to do a video with? Yeah, um, 50, 50 Cent, and um, Mike Tyson. That's an ill combination. Yeah, I like I like their character. I like what they stand for. And, and the crazy thing is, because we just saw something. We just witnessed, like, magic happen in front of our eyes. Like, you come up with this stuff off the top of your dome. Have mm -hmm. you always been that creative and that, that impulsive that you could kind of come up with something right on the spot and just make it happen? Well, I that's like a gift, though. He has a blessing. Yeah, that's a gift. My life is like a real life skit, though. So <laughs> I just take, I'll be telling my friends stories and they'll start writing it down and then they'll tell me a week later, do these videos. And I'm like, okay, but it's something I did like. Yeah, you already talked about it. I just talked about, like, perfect example, right? This lady, she had kids. I want to have sex, but her kids are home. So what I did was I dressed up like a plumber and um, put the mask on, went to the house, said hi to the kids. Changed the pipes, took a shower, had sex, 
And um, no one knew, they thought I was a real plumber. All the kids were like, yo, goodbye, plumber guy. And I went about my business. So my friends asked to skip right there. I was like, I don't scare some ass. <laughs> so let me ask you, do you, because there are people that are doing some crazy videos out there, right? There's just, just too many of them to name. Do you think it gets to a point where people cross the line, or do you think crossing that line is what makes it so funny? Crossing the line is what makes it funny. This is gr one girl, she keeps getting hit by a car. She, <laughs> so we were arguing the other day, I think it was Nina, because me and Joe wanted her. It was like, hurry up and get hit by the car, man. We're supposed to hit, with, hit her with the car. And she's like, I don't know if I could do the same. I'm like, yo, hurry up, man. Just get hit by the car, and that's it. Yo, bro, it's nuts to get hit by a car, man. No, nobody wants to get hit by Nobody a car. wants to get, like, that can't be fun. I don't even see the utility in even doing it to make it even funny. But That's you crazy, you have bro. found a way to bring people for just, whether it's for your reels or, or, or IGTV joint, to really just let the head down, laugh, and have fun. Where do you see yourself going with this? Is it a comedy skit? Is it a show? Is it just really just changing people's lives, doing what you're doing right now? Like, what do you, where do you see it going? Um, I see it as shows. Like, I, have, I had a reality show that we shot. We're still shopping around, but I'm patiently waiting. They had another show that we're doing that I, they finished writing the script finally, and um, we're about to start casting. Because I like, I, you know, these ideas come out. So look, some ideas, right, you want to do in real life, right. like kill somebody or shoot them or beat them up, right? So you just write it. No, no, I'm just saying. I, so I, what you do is, right? right? So you don't want to go to jail. So what you do is you just write it down and you make a story about it. Right. And then you shoot the video. And you take your anger out like that, and millions of people will see what you, you know, how you feel like. So there's a series like that I'm working on, a couple of them. I think it's dope. And, and you are getting to the point where you, you're trying to get to the next level, as we were just trying to mention. And you partnered with MTA to do a couple of things. Talk about that. I don't know about partnering up with them. I mean, um, <laughs> I mean, you know. I mean, a lot of I my call videos a brand partnership. Like they like, they hey. don't know it, but they... Nah, they allow um, the platform. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. We did a bum fight. They was fighting for a dollar. Two bum fight for a dollar train. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. It was nuts in there. That's that's comedy. That 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 is funny. And it then really you had one. Really you had a twerk out. video. Mm -hmm. How did how did that happen? I mean, I love the thing with Daniel is I love women, and a lot of my videos are with women because at one point, like none of the social media guys want to work with me. So who wanted to work with me was a bunch of women. So we just did. So I always keep that part of me where I always respect the ladies. We always gonna do videos together. I want to I want to talk to someone I know is near and dear to your heart. Um, <laughs> shout out to Haiti. Of course. Who just recently uh, suffered another uh, tragedy. I think mm. the number's up to over 1,900, right? Yeah, 2,000 was um, that. I want to say my condolences to any family or friends who might have, you know, not even if they just passed, but even just affected. Yeah. Um, what are some of the things that you're doing uh, to kind of give back or help any relief uh, that we can ask people or get people to actually go to a particular website or even try to help out? Because uh, they are in need right now, mm -hmm. Daniel. Um, we want to be able to help your family and friends from, from your island okay. uh, as best we can, man. What, what can we do? Um, we got um, this, um, this artist. His name is... Um Zoe Dollars, he's doing a lot of charity right now, sending things to Haiti. Um, this other artist that's on my song, I have a song out. He has a, a foundation. His name is Tony Mix New York, Tony Mix Haiti. And then me and Tony Ayo, we're about to do like a, a food and clothes drive so we can send some stuff to Haiti. Dope. Like we're just getting into the works right now. Like, yo, bro, we got to hurry up and do this right now and send this ASAP. No, let us know. Keep us posted on that. Yes. We'll definitely gather up some clothes. And it's important, though. You guys understand, and not just adult clothes, there are children who are everything. affected as well. We need everything and anything that you have that you're not using. And this is the time of season, man. We're getting ready to get into September, right? And as you're going out, you're getting some, some you know, school clothes for your kids. Pick up an extra garment or two and make sure to stay tuned to what Daniel's doing and just send that in, man, or send it wherever you find the opportunity to send it. These people need help. We got to help them. Um, it's imperative, it's important. I know we're all going through stuff, but this is an island that has been shook up oh, numerous times, and this latest time, uh, very deadly. Uh, they need help. I want to talk about the music, Daniel. You got some music, man, that, mm. you know, we just, we're talking about it earlier. 
You're not gonna stop doing the videos. No. You're gonna be doing the music. Yeah. What are you doing? What kind of genre is it? Like, what what do we consider it? And and give us the name of the song too. Okay, the name of the song is called Figgy, right? It's a it's a slang that my boy, my my best friend uses for everything. He wants to impress somebody. He wants to stunt. He always say that word. What's the word? Figgy. Figgy. Yeah. Figgy. Figgy. Yeah. We getting Figgy right now. Figgy. Yeah. <laughs> so he loves that word. So we was in the studio. And the thing is, the route I like with music is the DJ Khaled route. See, like, I could come up with a, a, a skit, and I'll put a bunch of people together. Sometimes I don't even need to be the main guy in the video. Right. I just take somebody or whatever and place it together and make it work. I'm like, this shit gonna work. So with the music, I just put dope artists together. I could be on the hook, or I could be talking and put them together and make a dope song. So no, don't, don't worry I'm about we trying, the yeah, best. Yeah. We figure G. We figure G. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I'm staying in my lane. I'm not trying to... I'll rap any, no, I don't, you could rap, you dope, we put you on the put song, and we're going to promote it and get the song out, so it's my own lane, like DJ has his lane, that's you my got lane. Your lane, I'm not trying, and I'm a hustler, so whatever it takes to get the job done, that's what you're going to make happen, feed my kids, and that's it, man, I got to work. You put Haiti on your back for you, for those who are of the diaspora, what do you want to ask them to do to contribute, not to just what happened, but culturally mm. how many of you are out here we we know some of the more famous ones Wyclef John mm. right um who else is out there that you can say hey let's get together let's do the music let's do the television stuff let's do something that we can help give back to our island well um this this um Haitian channel that I'm working with they they actually have like a a charity stuff that they're doing where you could donate money also and we was on the phone the, um, last night talking about how we're going to give out that money. Because you know sometimes people send money out to Haiti, just like the Red Cross with yep. $500 million and, and doesn't get to houses. where it's supposed to get to. How's that even possible? But yeah, I'm going to stay out of that part. Yeah. But um, <laughs> Politics is usual. Yeah, we're going to stay out of that. But I'm Politics just saying, though, we just want the money to go where it needs to go to right. to help the people, not... Not, you know, not wasted on other stuff. Like, the people really need it. It's a strong island, and we're going to see it get stronger and stronger as we help contribute, uh, not to just what Daniel's doing, but to everyone from the diaspora to make this island get back on its feet and become even stronger. What's next for you, man? Like, the sky's the limit, man, but you, you're doing so much. The videos are dope. I've been following you from the top. I told I you. Like, the I dating joints, you. I've been watching them. Of course, 50 was posting them, but I was on them joints. Jack was supporting you. Still supporting so, me. Still supporting. Still calls me. Where do you see yourself in the next couple of months to a year, man, you got some TV stuff on the table. You got the stuff with with, with Haiti. What's next for you, man? Um, I got I got a movie that's about to come out with Idris Elba and Regina King. Mm. I'm gonna act like I'm the main guy in there, but still, <laughs> <laughs> just being part of that movie was like a good experience. Cause I was like, damn, if I had that type of money, a budget, not even like one tenth of that budget, I right. forget it. This guy's gonna make my videos. Cause yeah, I will take it there. So back my mind. I'm going to um, invest more of my money and stuff like that into my craft and make it bigger. Do my own show. Like 50 said in his book, you don't need to wait for somebody to help you. No, do, do go it out there and do it. Yeah, build it, do yourself. it yourself. Just build it. Just keep working. Because that's, that's how I feel like I got to just go out there and make my own stuff, make my own name, keep working. What inspires you? My daughters and um, all the people that try to play me. <laughs> I take it let's super talk about, personal. Let's talk about the haters personal. real quick. Hold on. Let's talk about the haters real quick. So when you say, when you say that, right, <laughs> you doing it for them or are you doing it for TV? Nah, it's personal. Like, I feel like you're trying to play me. You ever heard Michael Jordan say I took it personal? Yeah. Yeah, just like that. No, no, I, I, no I understand. Because right. if you're dope at what you do, you don't, see, you don't see me, I'm going to make you see me. I'm going to make you say, you know what, maybe I should have put my dollar, my last dollar on him. Because I... I, I didn't want to support him because I didn't really want to see him be great. But now that he's great, I really wish I had the opportunity. When your back is against the wall, who do you depend on? Oh, God, I pray. Mm. I say thank you. You know, I pray, mm. you know, like, you need to pray. Doing this, you need to pray. If you don't pray or talk to God, you're probably going to do drugs. <laughs> or, yo, it's bad. Now I see why people do drugs doing this stuff. The entertainment field is real. They don't tell you that. Either you're doing crazy drugs or you you want some other stuff. You're gonna go nuts. 
you need you need you need faith you need god bro or something no cause, super super because if you don't it's like wow it's a it's a it's a road travel uh that many can't follow because there's so many bumps and bruises but for you what has been the biggest obstacle that you've been able to overcome um i think <laughs> being betrayed so many times really oh uh, yeah after a while just getting up to it you expected people to betray you anyway, so it's like, all right, what you gonna do to be down? So, no, because I want people to understand, it's not people that don't know you that could betray you. No, it's, it's people that know you too. It's family, friends, Every, it's a everybody. Spouse, it could yeah. Be. What do you What do you say to those people though? What 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 is it? Is it the? Is it more so the success that speaks for itself, or do you along the journey say, "Yeah, I told you I would do it. Like I told you I could make it happen. I I, I told you I'd be here." Like. What is the sweetest revenge for those who hated, those who stabbed you in the back and thought you were going to be done, naysayers? What is the sweetest revenge? Um, I just, yo, you know what's funny? I don't even talk to them. I just keep it moving and just keep working. Yeah, I don't even, like, go back. And one thing about me, sometimes I do want to, I just go on my burners page and curse people out and let them know how I feel. <laughs> But, um, yeah, because on this page, it's like, okay, thank you, heart. <laughs> and the burners page is like, what, nigga? <laughs> when I see, when I catch you out of these streets. Like, nigga, yeah, that's how I be feeling. So, yeah. Yo, you be oh, like, Jada Kiss, yo, I'm outside. Yo, <laughs> I'm telling you, but um, I don't even respond to them. I just, just keep, I just let the work do its talking. Just like Tom it. Brady, like. I despise Tom Brady at one point, but the nigga just keeps winning. After a while, you might as well join him or respect him. It's like, damn, this guy's not going to stop. That was my quarterback for almost 18 some years. He gave me 30 years. He gave me me mad rings. Bro, that guy never stopped. I dare anybody to say anything. We got mad rings in New England. He's a a a machine. Like, he doesn't stop. He's the GOAT, though. Just like 50, he doesn't stop. He's the GOAT. But there's a mentality, though, with those kind of individuals, right? They come from something that allows them to have a chip on their shoulder to continuously prove to you why you should have bet on them in the first place. And the mere fact that you didn't bet on me, I'm gonna just keep piling on the success after the success I'm after the success. Keep working. Green light gang. Yes, yes. That that guy inspires me a lot with his books, everything. What's next for you, man? <clears throat> More shows coming out. I'm gonna keep doing my videos. Cause I really Enjoy. A lot of people don't last in this field because they just do it, go viral, and that's it. It's quick. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's quick. I Me, mean, I actually like doing it. Even if I don't make big money out of it, I enjoy creating videos and jokes and stuff. My therapy. It's your therapy. So Listen. it's not going to stop with the video. So now it's time to take it to a bigger scale, which is going to happen. Listen, you heard it here. Daniel Jean said, sometimes you got to find out what is therapeutic to you. If you something that you love, and you love doing it, and it makes people happy. Even if it makes the haters unhappy, they like you too. After a while, the haters it. like you. They, after they got to tune in. They support. They watch you more. They support. They're the biggest supporters. The haters, yes. Do it for your fan, but do it for your haters. That's Daniel Gene. I'm June Archer. This is the Winner Circle on ThisIs50.com. Thank y'all for tuning in. Peace. Thank you guys.